The future of the NBA is here, and they are balling out. This season's rookie class is stacked with generational talents, but only one can be crowned Rookie of the Year. Will it be the alien with a skill set from another planet, Victor Wimbenyama? Or maybe the smooth shooting sniper, Chet Holmgren? We're breaking down the top contenders, their stats, their impact on their teams, and the drama unfolding right before our eyes. And is there a dark horse lurking in the shadows? Buckle up, because this race for Rookie of the Year is going down to the wire. So let's get into it. Number five, Jamie Jacquez Jr., the Miami Heat. Starting up on our list, we have Jamie Jacquez Jr., the 18th overall pick out of UCLA. Jacquez has swiftly evolved into one of Miami Heat's most proficient shooters. With a fearless approach to launching shots from beyond the arc, he offers a crucial asset to complement the talents of Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. Dubbed as Juan Wick, he has ascended rapidly in the NBA Rookie of the Year rankings. However, a recent groin injury coupled with the addition of Terry Rozier has hindered his progress. Currently, his statistics stand at 12.1 points per game, 2.6 assists per game, 3.9 rebounds per game, 1.1 steals per game, and a field goal percentage of 48% and a three-point percentage of 31%. Number four, Scoot Henderson, Portland Trailblazers. Next up is Scoot Henderson, the Blazers' promising star. Slipping to the third overall pick, Henderson's talent would have likely placed him at the forefront in many other draft classes. Initially, the former G League standout struggled, posting modest numbers with just 8.3 points per game and shooting percentages of 33% from the field and 19% from three-point range during October and November. However, Henderson's performance saw an upturn in December, where he has since averaged 14.2 points per game shooting 38% from the field and 32% from beyond the arc. At just 20 years old, he possesses ample time to acclimate to the demands of the NBA, and his mid-season improvement is a promising sign. Number three, Brandon Miller, Charlotte Hornets. Coming up at number three is Brandon Miller of the Charlotte Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets have been on a roller coaster ride trying to nail down their rebuilding phase. While LaMelo Ball has been living up to the hype, showcasing his skills on the court, the team has struggled to assemble the perfect lineup around him to truly unleash his potential. Brandon Miller, picked second in the NBA draft, was hailed as a scoring sensation from the get-go. His knack for putting up points was seen as something he was born with. Early on, people couldn't help but draw comparisons between him and the likes of Paul George. Although he's still got a journey ahead to fully realize that comparison, he's proven himself as a reliable asset within the team's rotation. Up until now, he's been a real force under the rim, slamming home 88.9% of his dunks with authority. Plus, his shooting game is nothing to scoff at, nailing 37.1% of his shots from downtown. But when it comes to defense, he's been a bit shaky. Opposing players seem to have a field day when facing him, shooting a whopping 50% success rate. And when they venture inside the three-point line, his defense doesn't improve much either. While he's not exactly a playmaking maestro yet, there's definitely promise in his game. With his slick dribbling skills and latent potential, he's primed to discover fresh ways to get his teammates involved. While Miller might not be everyone's top bet for Rookie of the Year, his spot on the NBA All-Rookie First Team seems pretty secure if he keeps putting up points like he's been doing. And here's the kicker. He's not just racking up points. He's also stealing the spotlight from Ball, emerging as Charlotte's new hometown hero. With each game, he's carving out a path to potentially become the face of the franchise, turning the tables for a team that's been facing tough times. Number two, Chet Holmgren, Oklahoma City Thunder. Coming up second is Chet Holmgren. He might have sought out his potential debut season a year back, but perhaps that time spent observing from the sidelines served as a perfect polishing period for his skills before making his grand entry onto the NBA court. Alternatively, it could have attributed to his integration into a team brimming with youthful talents who've been tirelessly climbing the ranks for several seasons without tangible success. Regardless of the scenario, Holmgren has undeniably emerged as the standout rookie of the season, effortlessly claiming the second spot on the rookie leaderboard. While he might not rack up points, grabs, or rejections like Wimbenyama, that doesn't hold him back. He's a player who knows how to clinch victories, and he's part of a triumphant squad, setting his course for a promising NBA journey. The Oklahoma City Thunder boasts a diverse lineup, stacked with sharpshooters and scorers who complement Holmgren. Sometimes, in the heat of a game, he might attempt a shot that's a bit off the mark, yet his calm demeanor and wise shot selection shine through in his shooting stats. With his ability to score from any spot on the court and his unwavering offensive prowess, the Thunder now boast a bona fide second star to complement their shooting guard, 
Shy Gilgis Alexander. SGA effortlessly executes dunks, alley-oops, fadeaways, finger rolls, and hook shots, while also possessing a commendable jump shot. Holmgren's demeanor exudes composure, always poised to fulfill his role whenever the team needs it most all in the pursuit of victory. And despite his assist numbers not fully capturing his unselfish nature, he consistently prioritizes team success over personal glory. The remarkable aspect? He manages to achieve both simultaneously. He's an outstanding player, there's no doubt about it. And in any other year, he'd be the shining star, the one everyone's talking about. He's got the potential to be an all-star time and time again, always in the mix for some sort of honors. But you see, there's one rookie who's just on another level. And Holmgren, well, he is incredible, no denying that. His stats speak for themselves, averaging 17 points per game, pulling down 7.9 rebounds, dishing out 2.9 assists, and with a field goal percentage of 53.6% and a three-point percentage of 38.4%. But compared to this other rookie, he falls just short of that greatest of all time potential. It's like he's reaching for the stars, but that last little bit of altitude, he just can't quite grasp it. Number one, Victor Wimbenyama, the San Antonio Spurs. And so at number one, we have the seven foot four French sensation, Victor Wimbenyama. Throughout this season, the San Antonio Spurs have been stumbling through a maze of challenges. They're missing a top tier point guard, consistent scorers, and the essential spacing needed to mold a formidable team, let alone one that secures victories. But despite these glaring gaps, there's a shining beacon amidst the chaos, Victor Wimbenyama, the prized number one pick. He has emerged as one of the league's premier talents despite the team's struggles. Wimbenyama boasts the second best odds to clinch the coveted Defensive Player of the Year title, trailing only his compatriot, the formidable Rudy Gobert. From day one, he's injected an instant impact into every game. Towering at an impressive seven foot four, this French Titan has shouldered the burden solo. He's outscoring every other rookie, swatting away more shots, snatching up more rebounds with gusto, and leading the league in stocks, a testament to his all around defensive prowess. Wimbenyama has had his ups and downs on the court, but more often than not, he's shining as one of, if not the top player every game, every night. Since the All-Star break, Wimbenyama has hit a whole new level in his game. He's been nailing shots from deep at a remarkable 32.6% rate, swatting away 4.4 shots on average, and dropping over 20 points per game consistently. With his towering height, expansive wingspan, and sharp basketball instincts, he's a defensive force to reckon with around the rim, leading the league in blocks with an average of 3.4 per game. He also showcases his versatility by snatching 1.3 steals per game, proving his knack for turning defense into offense. Victor Wimbenyama is undoubtedly destined for stardom, even projected to ascend as the league's premier player for the forthcoming seasons. While he still has areas to polish in his game, any lingering doubts about his early career performances are largely unwarranted. For the time being, he's an impressive rookie with boundless potential, only beginning to tap into what he's truly capable of achieving. Looking at the NBA Rookie of the Year odds, Victor Wimbenyama stands out as the overwhelming favorite with odds of minus 5,000. Chet Holmgren follows behind with odds of plus 2,000, while Brandon Miller trails significantly with odds of plus 50,000. Victor Wimbenyama's dominant performance throughout the season undoubtedly justifies his status as the frontrunner for the Rookie of the Year award. Not only has he consistently outperformed his peers on the court, but his impact on the game has been undeniable. With remarkable statistics and a significant presence on both ends of the floor, Wimbenyama has showcased the skills and potential to become a future star in the league. All right, everyone, that's all the time we have for the Rookie of the Year race. Let us know in the comments below who you think will take home the trophy. Will it be the unstoppable force of Victor Wimbenyama? Or will another young star rise to the challenge? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.